Hi everyone, this is Kelsey the Happy Planaholic. I just finished filming my Black Friday haul video and I decided I would film this second video quickly for you all to see. Um, I talked in my other video about how I ordered this Chic Sparrow off of a buy sell trade group from a lady on Facebook and I got a ton of stuff with it and it was a great deal and um, I just noticed a lot of differences between my Chic Sparrow that I adopted and my Foxy Fix that I got off of another Facebook group. So I kind of just wanted to go over quickly the differences that I noticed in these notebooks and kind of talk about my preference and things like that. So I think I'll start with my Foxy. This is the B6 and uh, I have gotten some water stains on it and things because it I'm living in Idaho and it's raining and snowing right now so there's lots of moisture falling from the sky <laughs> um, and so but this one is a um, wanderlust oh what is it I can't remember the name of the color but um, if I remember I will definitely probably put like a little bloop slide down thing down here that says it but um it's wanderlust leather so it is full grain i do believe um this is the deluxe i don't know if foxy calls them deluxes but this one has the uh pockets inside and then the pen loop and the stitching all the way around and i personally love this i mean this is a great notebook and it's you know wonderful to keep at home um, the size personally for me is a little bit too large to be carrying around every day just for like a wallet slash planner but I do love this notebook it's very nice and then this guy is my chic sparrow and it is a personal size creme brulee um, I think that's just the name of the leather and the color so um, this one I also like I said got off of a Facebook group so it has this um, embossing no what is that that's like a I can't remember what it's called, goodness. But anyway, it, I believe it stands for positivity and peace. I'm not 100% sure about that. But uh, this one has the white stitching and then this elastic and the inside elastic is brown. This one is also, this one is a deluxe, which I know that Chic Sparrow uses that terminology. But um, this comes, you know, with the pockets inside and then this is the pen loop. So these are very similar. Um, the color is very similar and, you know, just most of the things about it are very similar. The leather marks up in this in a similar way, but there are some differences that I've noticed that I just kind of want to talk about. And I will preface this and say most of these differences are personal preference. They're not necessarily things that would be deal breakers for me. They're just things that I prefer, and I am kind of picky, and I know that, but <clears throat> I think when it comes to something that's handmade, you can't be as picky as I usually would be, but nonetheless, I am still kind of picky. So, I'll start with, I guess, the outside. Both of these have white stitching, but I'll, let me see if I can hold these. Excuse my parents dog in the background <laughs> um so as you can see let me get this to focus it won't focus good enough okay so as you can see they both have stitching but the foxy stitching is thinner than the chic sparrow it's like they used some i don't know i'm not sure what kind but it's like a thicker thread to stitch in the Chic Sparrow and then the Foxy is just on the outside but then in the Chic Sparrow it's like oh you can't see it it's like indented into the leather and I didn't even know you could do that but I like the look of that better um I'm not sure I think you can tell but anyway <clears throat> excuse me um so that is just a little thing that I noticed. Um, definitely the feel of the leathers is different and if I had to choose one, I would choose the Chic Sparrow. The Chic Sparrow is like, 
I don't know how to explain it. Everyone says it's soft, and I never understood until I had one in my hands, but it is soft. It's like this smooth, creamy texture. And like the Foxy is, you know, it's soft, but it's just the Chic Sparrow. There's something about it. I'm not sure. Um, so the next thing we'll do is go inside here. Now, I know that the way that the Chic Sparrow does her pockets is different than the way that Foxy Fix they make their pockets, but I think I will say I prefer the look of the Chic Sparrow pockets. I prefer to have this inside pocket be larger, um, like, you know, straight up and down. And this one, it's like curved in and like, it's fine, I guess. It's just, I'm not sure, just something about it personally, aesthetically, I prefer it. As well as these pockets, so this middle one, I can't remember if it was the middle, one of the outside ones, one of these pockets is smaller than the other, so I can't even fit my card into it. Whereas this one, if I can't fit my card in here, which I haven't really tried since I have my wallet insert, um, I can turn it lengthwise and put it in here, which I like. And I know that these are different sizes, so it makes it kind of difficult to compare them completely 100%, but these are just a couple of things that I have you know personal preferences about um and then let's see the next the main thing i think that i feel differently about is the pen loop so both of these pen loops i like i guess um they both hold the pen nicely inside the notebook so it's not sticking out um the difference is in the way that they're stitched so chic sparrows is stitched along the edge with the rest of the pocket. And then Foxy's is stitched into the pocket. So it in itself is not attached to the notebook, it's attached to the pocket that's on the notebook. So I think if I had to say, the Foxy probably holds the pen snugger into the notebook, but I prefer the Chic Sparrow pen loop because when you close it, this loop because it sticks out, it does not get in the way of the notebooks. But with the Foxy, when you have, I have about four or five notebooks, which isn't too many, but it is one more than the elastic allows for. When I have my notebooks in here, the, like it tends to squish up right against this pen loop. Let me see if I can put some stuff in here and show you. So this is on the last elastic in there. It's not gonna do it. Okay, let me, I'll quickly set my uh, notebook back up here and then I will be able to give you a better example. Okay, so I filled these guys back up with all my inserts to give you an example of the pen loops. So here's the Chic Sparrow, we'll start with that. Here's the Chic Sparrow. I have five inserts in here, a wallet, a folder, and two dashboards also in here. And the pen loop sticks like right, so it's because it's stitched on the outside, it sits right in there next to all the inserts, but it doesn't get in the way of them. Let me figure out, I'm trying to find the best angle to show you. I think that's a good one. So you can see that it's snug right up against the inserts, but it's not bothering them. And then with the Foxy, so the pen does sit snugly in the notebook, but if you can see, let me see if I can shove that back. So here, that's a good one. So this notebook is getting squished because the pen loop is in the way. and. I guess that's not that big of a deal, but to me, it kind of bothers me, and, like, you see how it's, like, right up against it and, like, pushing it out, and I don't know, and then when you have a pen in there, it's kind of worse and annoying, and if you wanted to put more inserts in here, the pen loop would just get more and more in the way, because, you know, you'd have more things, and so this would be getting shorter and closer to the end, but anyway, so that is the main thing I think I wanted to talk about. But I think that all in all, these two companies, they make gorgeous notebooks. These are just a couple of nitpicky little things that I noticed and that are my personal preference. 
but um, you know, if the, none of these things are gonna bother you, then you definitely get either a Foxy or a Chic Sparrow. I know Foxy's a little bit cheaper, but Chic Sparrow, personally, I think I'm a Chic Sparrow girl. Like, the this notebook, oh, I love it so much, and I think I'll definitely be ordering more. But, um, you know, this Foxy is nice as well. The other thing I do want to talk about is that Chic Sparrow's leather is all full grain and not, um, like, touched. Like, they dye it, but they don't heat press it. They don't change the leather in any way other than the color. And so you get this beautiful notebook that is natural and it will patina and it gets marks and it shows history and I am that's what I'm looking for when I'm buying a notebook um, generally sometimes I'll buy specialty ones that are just like they look pretty but usually with my notebooks that's what I want and so with Foxy you have to be careful because they have a lot of notebooks that are heat pressed so they're water resistant and I think that's obvious when you get their let me find the sample they send you a leather sample in the mail when you order anything from them and so let me just show you um i guess i can show you this way so this is the foxy notebook and then this is the leather sample so if you can see that i'm not sure that you can but um this leather is heat pressed and so all of the the leather has like clung to itself I guess you could say so it closes up the leather basically so now it's water resistant and it's not gonna age it's not gonna patina it's not gonna well I mean it'll age but it's not gonna patina in the same way it just doesn't act the same as you know say a natural leather will and for me I don't like that because I don't know what it is, but I just prefer the wear that you can see on the notebook. So I know that for a fact if you get a Boss Babe or a Sugar um, notebook from Foxy Fix, they are heat pressed. I haven't asked them, but I've seen them and people say they're water resistant and you know if any of your leather is water resistant, it's been heat pressed or treated in some way because regular leather is not water resistant if you spill any water on it it will suck it right in um which you can see here in my notebook i don't let's see i don't can you see those marks let's see right there that one that dot right there that is a raindrop that fell on my notebook and the only thing you can do is put it in a dry area away from the sun and hope that it dries out <clears throat> but um, most of the time you're probably gonna have a stain but if your notebook will patina the color of the notebook will change and darken so then it'll hide the stain better but if you ever get any water on your notebook just so you know if you didn't already don't blot it and don't rub it that'll just make it worse but um yeah so that's my quick little review of foxy and chic sparrow Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I try to answer all the questions as soon as I can. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos. I try to put out new videos every Tuesday. And uh, as well as I have an Instagram page that you can follow that I update fairly often. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.